Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. What are you afraid of? When it comes to making your crochet really pay for you, turning it into a proper business that you can actually make money that you can not only live off, but change your life. What are you afraid of to take those steps that are going to get you to that goal? Crochets are notorious for not making money. We are notorious for underplaying our skills. We are notorious for not believing in ourselves, in our craft, in how good it is, what it's worth. We undersell ourselves when it comes to what we are capable of doing. Crochets are absolutely terrible at believing in themselves, their talent, their ability and their worth for actually turning this into a proper income generating thing and it can change your life but it does mean believing in yourself and taking the necessary steps most crochets seem to think that because it's just crochet nobody will pay for it nobody sees the value there can't be that much in it because grandma used to do it and they let people who have no understanding of crochet who have no love for it and who don't appreciate the finished product to dictate how they value themselves and their absolutely beautiful creations is something that's completely prevalent among crochets and I see it all the time on Facebook groups but it means it carries over if you don't have that belief that you can sell your crochet and make the money you need from it to make those life-changing decisions to make those life-changing choices that are going to allow you to turn this craft that you love so much into something you can live on It carries over to the pattern writing, to blogging, to video making, to all these online options that will give you recurring income. It carries over. The belief that you are not good enough to make money to live on carries over to, I'm not good enough to write blogs. I'm not capable of doing that kind of thing. I'm not techie. I'm not that person anyone wants to listen to. It's already been done, so why would anyone look, look at my content? It all carries over. There just seems to be this completely widespread problem of lack of self-belief among the crochet community. And it's not true. None of it's true. You are incredible. Your skills are amazing. People who love crochet and appreciate crochet love your skills. You can do anything you put your mind to. Unfortunately, it's the negative voices, that one little negative voice in a sea of thousands of positive ones that you hear. And it just impacts everything. And it shouldn't. If you want to do it, you can do it. But you've got to get past that fear. You've got to say, yes, I'm afraid to try this new thing, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's the step you have to take. It is a leap of faith that is all going to be okay. It is a leap of faith that you are capable. It's a leap of faith that you will make this work. And it's a leap that no one can take for you. 
only you can do that. You can, you know, listen to all the podcasts, you can watch all the videos, you can learn all the things, but unless you take that initial leap of faith to believe in yourself and say you've got to push past that fear, it's never going to happen. Only you can do that. You know, I can say all the things in the world to try and make you believe what you are, which is an amazing crocheter who has skills that you can offer the world and they will love you for it. But unless you believe it yourself, it's not going to happen. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to stop the fear from making you try something new. If you can crochet and you can read a pattern, whether it or follow a pattern, whether it be a written pattern or a video pattern, then you can create a pattern yourself. You can. I promise you, you can. But you have to take that leap of faith that, yes, you can do it. No, the tech is not scary. Yes, people will buy it. Yes, people will want to make it. Yes, you can do it. No, it doesn't matter what other people have done before. It doesn't matter if others have a similar pattern. It doesn't matter if there's a million and one blankets made in blue yarn. Yours is yours. It will be fabulous. And you will find people who love your style, the way you write, the way you design, the way you take your photos, the way you interact with your followers. What anybody else is doing does not matter. In fact, the worst thing you can do as a pattern designer is go research patterns. Don't do it. <laughs> just do your own. It doesn't matter if there's something similar. You just write your way. And as long it has, as it has come from your own mind, as long as you have created it yourself, as long as you've written it your way, doesn't matter what anyone else has done. It's yours. You can come up with all the excuses in the world not to get started. But you have to stop making excuses and actually do it. It will not happen if you are sitting there thinking of a reason to not do it. Because you'll come up with tons. You can come up with every excuse in the world. To get it done, if you're determined to make this work, you have to do. You have to stop the fear, you have to stop the excuses, and you have to do. If you want to start writing a crochet blog, start writing. If you want to have your own podcast, start your podcast. If you want to start writing crochet patterns, start writing, start designing. Come up with ideas, start writing them down, get your yarn out, start hooking up. If you want to become a YouTuber with your own crochet channel, start making videos. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you start out, nothing will be perfect. There will be mistakes, but guess what? That's how you learn. Just do it, because things can be corrected later. You can get better, you will get better. I look at stuff I was doing just you know, a year, two years ago, and I'm kind of horrified. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. Crochet patterns can be updated. You can rework them and re-release them. Blog posts can be re-edited. They can be updated, sorted. You can create new YouTube videos, an updated version of an old one, so bring it up to date. You will get better with time, and your followers will understand that. It happens with everyone. Nobody is, enters the world with their business perfectly. Nobody. There's always something that comes first. There's always a learning curve. Your style, your brand, your skill will improve over time. But do you know what? Those followers you pick up in the early days will keep following you. And they will love watching your progress as you progress and get better. I mean, if you listen to some of the podcasts I made right at the beginning, which is only 100 or so, 
or so episodes ago, they sound different to this one. My style has evolved. What I talk about has changed. How I speak has changed. How comfortable I am speaking to the microphone has changed. That's evolution. If you look at my YouTube channel, some of the videos I made when I first started, they're horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. The lighting is wrong. The background I'm using is terrible. The angle's wrong. The camera's quality is terrible. They're a lot better these days. I've learned. I've adapted. I've evolved. Those early videos and podcasts are still there. Some of them still get an amazing number of views. A surprising number, given the quality of them. But it's part of the progress. And it's kind of part of the of business. Seeing what came before, people will discover your older content and go, ooh. But if they discover your older content and still want to follow you, they're going to love what's coming now. What comes later, as you get used to it, as your style evolves, as you get better at what you're doing. Not doing something because you're afraid of getting started just means that you will never get started. That fear exists for everyone. But to get started and to create this life-changing opportunity, you've got to kick away the fear, go, yes, I am afraid, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. And do it. It's the only way. Nobody can take that first step for you. Only you can. And please do. Because it is the first step to a life-changing decision. And that is the decision to start. So I really hope this is, helps you to take that first step. Because it is the first step to a new beginning. And if you need any help, please do come to the Facebook group, Crochet Recurring Income Know How and ask the questions you need to ask. Let us help you out. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. And I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.